hi everyone my name is sharon so i am feeling so fed up i am just so fed up and i believe that i'm not the only one who is feeling this way there's also people who are having the same kind of feeling that no now they are fed up now they are tired of dealing with the same thing over and over again you know with my children it's like my in less than two weeks my my daughter got sick and then a few days later my son gets sick and then a few days later my daughter gets sick again and then now just as she was recovering and then she gets sick again and this is in a period of just less than two weeks like i remember this morning i was just like i am so fed up i am so tired and then now i was addressing the enemy and said enemy enough is enough you can't be controlling her health all the time like a remote control it ends here it ends now it is over with you you can't be coming into her life or coming into my children's lives and giving them sicknesses anytime you feel like because the bible says that by his stripes were healed any virus any bacteria inside of them it leaves any silence it's numb that it never comes back i was just so fed up i was just feeling so tired because we always have to be dealing with illnesses week in week out day in day out we don't have a break we don't enjoy our weekends because now this has to be happening taking care of them i'm sure also some of you in your lives are certain things are certain sicknesses that you feel like now you are tired you felt like you were managing them but it keeps coming back certain problems they keep coming back certain issues certain fights it keeps coming back when you feel like you've won when you feel like you have victory now it keeps coming back some of you it's in terms of your dreams you felt like you have conquered the dream the evil dreams and then now it comes back again after two days it comes back again and god is saying that he is also with you enough is enough the enemy can't be toying around with your life anymore in the mighty name of jesus it also reminds me of a time before i got married to my husband and then now there were like issues in the relationship and i remember now we had broken up and then i remember going to the lord i was like ah it's fine let's let's just break up but i remember going to the lord in the morning and then something came to me i'm like no this is not normal this can't be continuing i can't be starting a new relationship all over again i can't be always starting in a new relationship it can't be like this just as i am at the verge of getting married things always keep have to keep happening no and i had to make a fed up prayer there's a prayer that i had to be making to be cancelling to be cancelling Canceling are uh, these heartbreaks to be canceling certain issues in the relationships. So God is also saying that it's going to take a spiritual eye that says that no, what is happening? It's not normal. It can't be normal. And God is saying that He's given you so much authority. Through your authority, you can command the storm to calm down. The same way, remember when Jesus was in the boat with this with his disciples and he was sleeping. And then now the disciples felt like they were sinking. They felt like they were dying because of the storm but jesus calm the storm yet, yet a storm is something that is so natural it can happen at any time but god is saying that he gives us authority to be calming any storm that comes to your life because every kind of problem every kind of situation every kind of storm it has ears hallelujah so some of you are wondering what kind of prayer did i make to command my marriage it's here in this book how to attract mr right and get married within a year that prayer that i made and i was quoting scriptures because god responds in line to his word god responds in line to his word and not in line with just tears or whatever but in line to his word in line with his promises so i made that prayer and it's here in this book how to attract mr right and get married within a year the book is on amazon and i will also put the link on the description so God is saying that it's going to take someone now who will say that they are fed up with their situation. They are so fed up with their situation in the mighty name of Jesus. And God is saying that now, once you begin to see that this is a spiritual battle, you have already become victorious. You have already won. The devil is going to know that he can't come and play there any longer. It's no longer his territory because now it's under new management because now you have seen his tactics. You have seen his tricks and now 
now you have put a protective wall of fire over you, meaning that the enemy can't come in any longer. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.